Good morning, Eric. It's Rob here. I just want to uh, respond to two items. Uh, you sent me a file. I'm going to open that up in Photoshop in a minute with some ideas. But first off, you had this post in Fairy Masters asking for uh, feedback on this image, this image, or this image. You know, and I had mentioned, you know, I asked you if you were stuck. You said you were. So I, I encourage you just pick pick one. And really focus on you're you're good to go. Your stuff is spectacular, and focus on improving uh, the marketing, getting as many uh, sessions in as possible. And you know you can tweak and adjust as you go along, but come up with a look. I personally like this one the most because it's got uh, the mist. So you're never going to have a perfect. This is the ultimate. It's like really it looks good. Um, I hope you have some of her looking down and this hand here, you know, I'm a bit of a stickler for hands and you get better at this in time, but you see her fingers are missing. If you had her hand going out, almost like a ballerina type of thing, you know what I mean? So I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, yeah, run with it, man. You got it going on. Okay. You sent me this image. I asked you to, and I'm just going to show you some ideas that, you know, I, I, my photography, my fairy photography is all uh, half sepia. See, that's a sample right there. That's what I do. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. Uh, so the ideas that I'm going to show you, I would never apply to mine. I can't see myself doing that because a half sepia is more muted tones. So, but the ideas that I'm going to show you now, they're just ideas. And again, there's no perfect position here. And this is sort of uh, along the same lines as Ted Linzak's uh, look. You know, the way Ted, he does full color and he enhances and exaggerates a lot of the area. And that's, that's what I want to show you now, some ideas for that. So you take this image, which I, I mentioned in my comments that you have uh, right here, the warm tones of her skin and the all around it's sort of cold. So we're going to take that cold and we're going to exaggerate it. There's a couple of ways to do that. Um, come up with a uh, adjustment layer. And then down here, I'm just going to see how that everything gets exaggerated. So I'm not looking at her face. Ignore her face. I'm looking at the mushroom. Well, I kind of like that. It's sort of like almost a teal. So then when you have this sort of thing going on, you go in there and you erase um, the rest. Okay, see how quick that was? It's exaggerated. All the colors. Well, maybe I'm going to take a bit off her dress. All the colors are enhanced. So that's why I wouldn't do this with the muted half sepia look because it's you're kind of conflicting. But if you have uh, Full color, not half sepia, and you want to exaggerate the uh, the overall uh, tonality of it all. This is one way to do it, and you could create an action. You could also, if you wanted to, add a solid color and just see where that goes. But you'd have to try different blend modes. Bum, 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 multiply might work. Uh, color dodge, kind of intense. Overlay. Well, let's go to overlay and let's decrease it. Well, I mean, it's pretty exaggerated, as you can tell. So, again, there's no secret, like, oh, when I get, you know, look at that. That's a look you like. There's yours. There's the one I just showed you, and there it is, enhanced, exaggerated. Very, very, very cold, blue, night. I, I, I kind of like that, actually. And... Uh, so uh, I you know, hope I'm not complicating things for you. I'm just giving you ideas and strategies to think about. Most important thing, again, is to get bookings and to get shooting, 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 shooting. You know, get clients in front of you, get moms and grandmoms and grandpas and people who are going to love what you do and want to spend money with you and come back to you over and over and over again and tell everybody about you. Okay. Hope this helps. I kept this under five minutes. Unbelievable. Thanks, Erica. You're doing amazing work. Talk to you later.